All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Modern Wong Chat. Tonight we have Scooch. He's a great YouTuber. He's a great Twitch streamer. What's up, my man? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey. What up? How long have you been doing YouTube? I've been trying to do it since like, I don't know, like 2011 I tried, but the first time I took it seriously, I think 2015, I made my first like video where I like sat down and I hunkered down and I did my best to make it like a really good video. And that was the first episode of Can We Talk About This, which is the show, like my internet show mm -hmm. that gets the most views. And that, and this isn't, it's not a flex or anything, but it's like Please. that show is my biggest show. Uh, sorry, all right, I'm a flex. Uh, but that show, it's like on average, I think it gets like half a million views now or something crazy like that. The first episode came from me sitting down and going like, all right, I've done all these After Effects tutorials. I've done all these Premiere tutorials and I never actually finished something. Uh -huh. So I'm going to sit down. I'm going to make a random show about me complaining about some League of Legends character. And that <laughs> stuck. And then from there, I originally, after that stuck, I was just going to try to do YouTube by myself, just like that. But from that, I ended up getting an opportunity to work for Team Liquid. And then I learned more stuff there. And then after I stopped working for Team Liquid in 2016, right after that, that's when I hunkered down. And I was like, I need to get a new episode of this out every week. I need to make as many videos as physically possible and blah, blah, blah. So 2015 was my first good video. 2016 mm. was when I decided like YouTube is what I want to do, period. Something that people don't talk about when you become a YouTuber or when you become self-employed, it could be anything. But when you become self-employed, there are a lot of things that are removed from your life, which initially when you start it, it's like a blessing, right? Like, oh, I don't have to go to an office anymore, right? Mm -hmm. But then you realize how hard it is. It's more work. To force yourself. Yeah, it's so much work. Like I can't say, hey, I'm working from eight to four. Because some days I wake up at noon and then other days I start working at 7 p.m. and I end work at 7 a.m. And it's just like you end up going through this cycle of not knowing when you should be working and then hating yourself for not having a schedule. And for so your type work. of content, also like if a meme or something trendy came out, you have to instantly jump on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. IRL streaming is something I really want to look into because like the technology for IRL streams have gotten so good. There is things uh, released right now specifically for IRL streamers. I think it's called, if you go on the website Unlimited IRL, they mm. sell a backpack and it's super expensive. Like it is crazy expensive. Wait, I think I know the Obviously, guy who started it. Yeah, okay. Well, that that backpack, there are a lot of streamers that use it and it's like, it's crazy expensive, but it works. I just think that it's cool because like now, especially now, there's so many things that are available to whoever wants to do anything. I was talking to my friend about it recently, but it's like, I remember when I first got into videos, like a ring light was not something that was normal. Mm -hmm. You know, a ring light was a very niche thing that you had to buy on like eBay or go to like a professional film place to get. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, you could buy a ring light for $20 if you wanted to. You can buy it anywhere. Yeah, you, you can buy a literal ring light for your phone for like 25 bucks and it's a good ring light. It's crazy that today there are so many resources for anyone who wants to create. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. What are you working on though? At this second, I have been working on the next episode of my show. The, can we talk about this? How often does um, it come out? It should be every week, but it is realistically <laughs> like every month. <laughs> it should never take me that long, but it goes back to the thing you said. There is this terrible thing and it is the curse of YouTube. A lot of people go through it, but it's like, you have to talk about what is topical. So there are certain things that are like too good to pass up. For example, I made a video talking about Gamer Girl because it came out <laughs> and it enraged everyone and I thought it'd be funny to roast it. So I made a video on that just because it is like the YouTube curse, you know? But whenever you do that and you don't have an editor, it detracts you from working on your main thing. Mm -hmm. In my case, right? Doing a video on Gamer Girl detracted me from working on my video of Can We Talk About This? Tell me more about that show, actually. Uh, what do you talk about? I talk, well, it's mainly League of Legends. I just talk about games or whatever the heck I want to talk about. I think every episode has been about games. And I just kind of, uh, for example, if I'm talking about League of Legends, then I would talk about like, oh, this character is way too strong. And this is why this character is too strong. Mm. And then I make jokes about why the character is strong. And then I just kind of ask analyze the game and I guess dick around about my analysis of the game. After you did like another thing, right? After we shot yesterday, I did nothing but just play League the whole night because like, I feel like I did something. I can procrastinate yes. now. I deserved it. Yes. 
Oh, I hate the treat yourself mentality <laughs> because you end up treating yourself too much. Way too much. Yeah. It's like, dude, I did 50 sit ups today. I'm going to order I'm carne asada burritos. I want. Yeah. No, I hate it because I do that too. Whenever I finish a big, can we talk about this? You could ask Reb. I literally am just a lazy scumbag for like three <laughs> days straight. And then I get up. And then I'm like, there's no way I could finish another episode in four days. So I end up not doing it. And it's just this cycle. It just goes into itself. It's the worst. People ask me this question all the time. And I don't want to answer it right now because I don't have an answer for it. If there is a dream project that you can work on, what would that be? Dream project. All right. I know mine, but that's because I'm a monkey and I have an entire plan eventually in the future. So I genuinely like making music. Some mm -hmm. people know that. Some people don't know that. I have one song out. Uh, it's called Made. And I like to make music. I like to rap and all that stuff. I think not even necessarily a dream project, but like a dream life for me one day would be I would like to go on tour for an album that I made. And then on top of being on tour, I would like to IRL stream the concerts oh. or the shows. Okay. I think it would be so fun. I think it would be so fun. Like just IRL stream, like behind behind curtains, you know, getting ready, all that stuff. And then the and live itself. The very humanistic approach, you know, like that we're like, hey guys, what's up, man? Like, I'm about to do this. I'm very exciting. Like actually, because like no one, because the world, those two worlds usually don't collide as much until they the last don't. five years. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So wait, how come you only made one song so far then? Where are or other songs? I, I have genuinely on my computer, I probably have like two, 300 things I've made. But I don't release anything because and I used to do this with film too. So it's okay. But it's like, I don't have anything that makes me think, wow, I'm really good at this yet. Mm. And eventually I will. Like, you know, I used to, I was an editor for years and years. And then I would never release a video because I would be like, eh, it's not good enough. Mm. And then finally, I can we talk about this? And I was like, I'm actually pretty fucking good at this shit. <laughs> Once I get to the level where I actually think that something I make is like really, really, really good, which mm -hmm. is really soon. I'm already on the cusp of it. That's mm. when it's just going to be music, 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 music. Well, I wanted to release at least one song by my birthday. So I think I'm going to do that. That's like in a I week, right? A, yes. I want to release one song by my birthday. And what kind yeah. of style? What's your genre? I haven't heard any um, of your songs. I am a or happy any of your one song. I'm just a happy rap song. <laughs> All right. I like to be high energy and I like to, I like to be high energy and I like to try to be positive or at least mess around. It's always going to be positive, but mm -hmm. I either like to mess around and be way too like over the top and ratchet, or I <laughs> like to be really positive. You know, there are innovators, um, in hip hop and stuff. And I think that there's so much room for innovation, but regardless, I just think it's cool that rap has went from, it has to be bitches and hoes to like, it could be whatever the hell it wants. Now mm -hmm. you can do whatever, you could do whatever you want. I think most rappers that are out there are amazing. There's not a lot of rappers that I can't stand. I think most rappers are great. And I think it's cool that it has opened itself up and it is now a space where you could do whatever the hell you want, which mm. is why I'm excited to release music soon because I'm going to be doing whatever the hell I want. <laughs> there was a video that I made, a super duper duper long process and a bunch of things went wrong and it took me two months to edit a video, right? And the video came out and it only got like 30,000 views, which isn't a lot. You know, like it's not a lot of views. And I got sad and I was mm -hmm. like 30,000 views for this, whatever. And then I made a stupid video in like 10 seconds about like the internet lagging. And that video that I made in 10 seconds <laughs> got half a million views. And it just made me sad because it's like, dude, I spent two months on this other video and nothing, there was no attention on it at all. I probably spent a grand total editing it too, a grand total of two minutes on a meme and it got half a million views. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And it's like, at the end of the day, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that anything I make can get more than two views. You know what I mean? I'm not yes. saying like, I deserve so much more. No, I am happy with whatever I get. But you you have to understand, like sometimes it's, it's like you it. work on a video. Yeah. You, or you, right? You'd work yeah. on a photo and you're like, this is going to be a good one. This is going to do so great. I'm going to spend a hundred hours on this. And then you release it and it doesn't do anything. And then you go, here's a picture of a taco. Million yeah. likes. <laughs> yep. A lot of people I bring on on this show is their content creator. And I think a lot mm. of us also got lucky. We were work hard, but we got lucky. We were at the right place oh. at the right time. And because yeah. people will ask us all the time too, and they might ask you too, like, oh, how can I be a YouTuber? How can I be a streamer? Yeah. Like, I yeah. don't know, man. There's no one formula you can just follow other than good practice. Yeah. 
It's work hard. And it is, it's definitely work hard, get good at what you do, and then a little bit of luck. Until next time, I'll see you guys later then. All right.